Hi guys, so here's my stuff. It's gonna rain. Um, I have to wait on the cops now because this lady threatened to call the cops. I don't know why, you know, I'm just sitting here. Everything is neat. I'm just trying to figure out what to do. I called Maple Knoll. It's an apartment complex in Johnstown. Well, you have to have a credit score of 700. I had excellent credit until they started this before the divorce. Uh, they did all this stuff, uh, criminal history, destroyed my credit, took my car, out of work. Once you have all those things, you're not going to get housing, okay? There's always an excuse. It's either the background check. It's either the credit history. This was all done the last five years, okay? Now, if judges are going to put a person on the street, there needs to be things in place to take care of the person or the person can get on their feet, okay? Now, social services is right over here. I'm just sitting under this ledge to try to keep working and finding housing. Okay, so here's social services. I did not qualify for social services. When the judges looked at this two years before the divorce even got underway, it should be illegal to put people on the streets with no place it, 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 because you're going to get arrested. That's entrapment. There's nowhere you can be in Amsterdam on the street unhoused without being arrested. I'm going to repeat that again. There's nowhere here in Amsterdam that you can be unhoused without being arrested. So now judges put people on the street deliberately with assets, with properties, with options, knowing, knowing they're going to be arrested. You're going to give them a criminal history, possibly destroy their credit, possibly put them out of work, possibly have their car taken, which mine was for, for, for nefarious reasons. And you're going to put them in worse situation. You're going to get them continually arrested, which is called criminalization of homeless. And they could continue to find it harder and harder to get housing. Does that make any sense? Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. And judges are deliberately putting people in these situations, knowing, knowing they're going to get arrested. Knowing they're going to be arrested. Be safe.